Richard Qui-Gon, by the way, as comedian-wise. Uh, man, we're really going down this Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's so good. By yeah. the end, we're going to be wearing I would love to. Hoods and... well, because I feel it. So, I don't know if you know. Do you know Paul D'Angelo? Yeah, of course. So Paul, yep. Paul was my was my guy. Paul was, and when I was at Dublin's one night, he, Paul came he was with, great to me as well, man. Paul, Paul was a sweetheart, yep. and uh, Paul had said to me afterwards, and he's like, you know, your, your energy, it's, it's at it's at hundred fucking percent. Bring it down, bring it down. And and, he, and I would start, and I was I started. I was at he said hundred, telling I, you that. I, by I know, the way. I know exactly. I was, but I was at one hundred and fifty. He's like, you yeah. gotta start slow, and then hit. And he, and, sure. And, and I just remember working with him so much, and he was like the guy that I always give credit to. Yep. Who was your guy? Okay, so it, it, are we talking just comedy in terms? I think of, comedy. I think comedians. Uh, right okay. Now. Okay. So when I there were there was a lot of comics in New York that I I watched for that first like three or four years, and um, just amazing, prolific, and uh, character actors, and just uh, everything they put in stand up. But when I got to New York, and Chappelle was there, mm. and he was still a kid. I think I was 19. He might have been 16, 15 or 16. And then over those couple of years, believe it or not, watching Dave was like, oh, this guy's a master at this already. Wow. He has abilities, uh, especially his control over like tempo and being able to slow way down. I also came from that, like I go, wanted go, to get go. out of the gate. Yeah. Some of that probably is a little fear because you don't want to slow down because slowing down means maybe I hear something I don't want to hear, you right, know? Right. So I would watch him and I learned so much. And then we did college gigs for a, a good chunk of time together. And I would just, you know, he'd say, he'd be like, man, the power is in the silence. And he really showed me. So he was one of those guys, and he still is. I mean, I, lo I love watching him. If I can see Chappelle perform somewhere, yeah. I feel like uh, it's always a master class yeah. with him. He's the one guy. He'd come in the rocks. He would come in, and he would do. He could show up at the club two, three hours, do just workout material. And you, yeah. just, you don't want to leave your seat because you just but, know the brilliance. But, wow. but so, um, you know, really you can actually see him contemplating and processing during you know saying unique original funny things to have that culmination as a performer that kind of uh you know kind of strength or, yeah. or, or bravery to stop to think how i really feel about what i'm saying i mean that's uh that's that is zen right there yeah, that's true. amazing